Welcome to our weekly updates from Little Baby Bum, a mom and baby health center in BTM Layout, Bangalore. Here our eminent doctors give you tips on topical issues every week. Hello friends, uh, welcome to our uh, podcast. Uh, we are here with a doctor, eminent doctor uh, Nirmala, uh, uh, an acknowledged expert in infertility uh, and an obstetrics and a gynecologist, uh, obstetrician and a gynecologist, sorry. Um, uh, doctor Nirmala, today's conversation is about stress and the role of stress in infertility. Do you want to just uh, dive into the subject as you always do? <laughs> That's one of my favorite subjects in any way. Um, stress, I know. And now when I say you look a little stressed, the first question they, they, they turn back and they give me a frown on their uh, forehead and say, no, how do you say that? And the very response, the way they react to that word stress itself, you know, tells it's me that you are stressed. <laughs> That's a good one. No, okay. What in the true sense is the definition of stress, you know, what do you mean by stress? Mm-hmm. You know? It's the reaction to an event, you know, any mm-hmm. reaction to an event is what you call as actually define as stress. Mm-hmm. So the way you react, okay, I'm not saying that all of us should become a yogi and you know, uh, uh, not react to any situation, all of us do react, but how fast are we reacting and reversing? to the normal state is what mm-hmm. is actually required. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, we keep on dwelling, dwelling, dwelling and keep building, building all our worries and then, you know, turn it out into a big mountain. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, we turn a big mountain mm-hmm. out of a small anthill. Mm-hmm. That's what is uh, what is happening mm-hmm. with, with patients who do go through infertility. Mm-hmm. Of course, I don't deny that there are no, uh, they don't have any reasons to get stressed out. There are plenty of reasons. Uh, first of all, we consult as infertility people. The very sight of us stresses them. <laughs> you know, every now and then that they need to visit us, they mm-hmm. have to come and meet, sit in long, long queues mm-hmm. for hours together, mm-hmm. and then go through a scan, go through a prick, go through injections, and go through something. Everybody trying to counsel them. Everybody trying to ask them, why are you looking so dull? Why are you looking so upset? Come mm-hmm. on, cheer up. Mm-hmm. How to cheer up? Mm-hmm. There's so much of social stigma which is bounding them down. You know, mm-hmm. they can't go back home. You know, mother. In law, somebody else keeps asking them what happened, where you went to the doctor, are you pregnant? What you know, such questions that they need to address when they go back. So, obviously, everything starts uh, having an impact on them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is one thing. The second thing is again, as I told you, doctors are a major role for stress because you know, all the time that we keep telling them, uh, today you have to have sexual activity, tomorrow you should not have. You know, every time they are, it looks like, you know, a doctor sitting in their bedroom and controlling mm-hmm. what they have to do, what they mm-hmm. shouldn't be doing. That becomes a very major uh, stress for them. Mm-hmm. I do accept half the problems are created by us, but then uh, we there has to be a way out. Mm-hmm. You know, we are looking for something and we have to find a way to de-stress ourselves. Mm-hmm. Well, stress, I would again like to stress that it has an impact, it has a very, very great role to play in infertility, not in the female alone. Mm -hmm. I know women face the social taboos, a lot of stigmas are there and they really go through a lot of pressures. Um, nonetheless, even men go through mm-hmm. a lot of stress, mm-hmm. stress at your workplace and come back home, you'll find a wife who will say, I went to the doctor today and uh, today you cannot go to sleep, come on, shake up, wake up and perform, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's that kind of a stress men mm-hmm. also go through. They come and tell me, my God, doctor, you are becoming my big uh, villain in my life. Mm-hmm. You know, so all stresses are there common to both of them and it affects both of them. Mm-hmm. If you look at men, you will find that highly stressed men worked, overworked, and uh, they do have a reduction in their sperm parameters, mm-hmm. count, motility, morphology. Uh, mm-hmm. They start using a lot of abnormal sperm. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the women, the uh, syndrome, a woman having this problem of ovulation disorder, polycystic ovary, we always find that a stress level being high has a negative role, or rather, the it it uh, you know it distorts the regulation of the hormone called LH, mm-hmm. which in turn is very important in PCO, which right. is already in high circulation in PCO. Mm-hmm. So it aggravates the existing problem of PCO and mm-hmm. puts them into more and more abnormal cycles. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. So stress does have a role to play mm-hmm. there. Stress also this high level of LH in a stressful woman, even if an embryo comes into the uterus, it can have a negative impact there mm-hmm. and prevent that embryo. You know there is a very beautiful dialogue which happens between the embryo and the uterus. Mm-hmm. It's a very beautiful dialogue. Mm, they just have to adhere and you know stick and then start developing. You know there's something which happens and nobody knows what is that dialogue. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, even in that le- at that level and 
high circulation of LH can have a negative role. Mm -hmm. So at various steps in the fertilization process that stress does have an effect. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy to uh, tell somebody, come on, you look stressed, go, de-stress yourself. How is the question? All of us know that. Mm -hmm. And all of us keep going through that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, a, uh, it, it's a very, very, uh, very, very difficult uh, mm -hmm. situation. First of all, uh, we need to accept that we are stressed and we have to find a solution to mm -hmm. these stress and mm -hmm. that's going to help us in conceiving. Otherwise, mm -hmm. what happens? Stress aggravates the primary problem of infertility and the whole vicious cycle is set over there mm -hmm. and we need to break it. So we have to, so uh, uh, even before looking at corrective steps, you know, we need to accept. Mm -hmm. Quite often there's a denial here. No, I'm okay, I'm fine. Or, you know, they try to push the blame. No, she's stressed. I find her that way. I'm not that way. You know, I, I'm fine. I'm cool. So acceptance and mm -hmm. uh, that we are going through some amount of steps is the first step, mm -hmm. which will make us go to the next. Mm -hmm. We will try to take some methods. There are plenty of methods to de-stress ourselves today. Uh, when I say that, uh, I quite often have men who come and say, yeah, that's exactly why I'm smoking. Mm -hmm. I'm de-stressing myself. I go out, I go out okay. to a party, I have a drink. Mm, but let me tell you, that's not the way to de-stress women. And uh, th that's only going to aggravate again the basic problem of infertility. Mm -hmm. So let's find alternate methods. Mm -hmm. A good early morning walk. A very good walk with a fresh air. You know, many times it really calms your mind. Yogas, asanas. We mm -hmm. all the time look at yogas as just some postures. Mm -hmm. Yoga is not all about, you know, doing some asanas or postures. There is mm -hmm. so much of a union between the mind and the body. Mm -hmm. And that is what is required for us. Mm -hmm. And the minute we tra start training our mind, naturally the body will start functioning in a positive mm -hmm. way. That is very, very important. So that um, uh, very coherent act of, you know, uh, bringing your mind and body into a union is what we call as yoga and meditation. Mm -hmm. So there are techniques which help them to increase the blood flow to the reproductive organs mm -hmm. and thereby improving the performances. Mm -hmm. So that is another way of, uh, you know, uh, de-stressing yourself. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. So as I said, there are uh, m multiple ways of, uh, you know, one has to uh, assess their own stress levels, understand, accept mm -hmm. and find a way out to de-stress themselves. Mm -hmm. And this is one thing that I would like to say um, once when you go through the infertility treatment protocols also, after lowering your stress levels, the results are also much better. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of scientific uh, I mean, uh, data and uh, research mm -hmm. that we have done in this area and we have found that the pregnancy rates are far better in the meditators and the people who take yoga class compared to the uh, women who do not do anything at all. Okay. Okay. So some, some, um, some method is very important before Got you it. get into this treatment Got of infertility. Got it. Got it. Thank you very much, Doctor, as sure. ever, wonderfully insightful, and thanks a ton, folks, for listening. You are listening to our weekly video cast from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby center in BTM layout, second stage, Bangalore. To find out more, please visit lilbabybump.com or facebook.com slash littlebabybump. Thank you very much for listening.